introduction so i thought that this video is um motherhood 101 <laughs> that's what i termed it okay yeah i'm going to be very um well, how would i say like very formal about it so that you will pick up everything i want to say now this is a, how i manage to have a life run a business be a student be a teacher online run my youtube page and still be a great mom and a, a relatively wonderful wife to my husband and then a great mom to my five kids that's what this video is all about so yeah i i think this is this is my 11th year in marriage and i have five kids who are under the age of 10. under the age of 11 my first child is 10 years old yes she was 10 this year so yeah it's seemingly difficult like it's not something easy for you to have kids i have a three year old three years old and i i, I always see people like everybody i just walk into be like <laughs> madam how do you handle this like you see people hey ma how do you handle all this how do you cope with your children how are you not crazy already you know so like i have people saying like i have three of them god i don't know how to handle how are you coping so i decided to make um, a list of the things that have been working for me things that have made it easier for me on this journey things that have made me not lose it you know i'm someone that i love research i love knowledge like i love knowing a lot of things i love not being a novice to anything so that leads me to always research read ask questions test experience some things like every part of it until i settle on the one that is best for me now the things i'm going to list are the things that are my opinion my test something that worked for me my own situation it should be helpful to a lot of people it will be helpful to a lot of people but you are supposed you're going to put in consideration your own situation where you live um the kind of marriage you have um how many children you have the resources available to you um the kind of job you do so you have to put all those into consideration why considering my own opinion on motherhood now let's let me go right away the first one i said how i have a life now i'm going to explain to you how i have a life having five kids is not and uh, in the marriage it's not going to be easy for you to actually have a life have a life i mean is that have time for yourself have time to um take care of your body then um, take care of your hair we are women your nails for those who like fixing nails like check uh, what kind of soap do i use what kind of soap is working for me it's not about having the money it's about having the time to actually 
have the thoroughly bath yourself. I we am I'm speaking to mothers. Like I know they understand what I'm saying. You might be in the bedroom and a child will just walk in, and at that point. <laughs> if the instruction was rub cream, rub soap all over your body, stay for two minutes, three minutes before you wash it. It will not, it won't work because you would like to just wash off and you know take that child out of there or 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 how will I say handle whatever issue it is that the child ran into the bedroom for. So yeah, then have a life. I mean, is be able to still have you. All of us, we are individuals before becoming a mom. You know, we have those dreams, the aspirations that we wanted to do, things we wanted to achieve. You know, I, want, I want to travel. I want to have a vacation. I want to run a business. I want to um, um, study more. I want to have time to hang out with other grown-ups, not just me and children every day. Blah, 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 blah. You know, let me hang out with other grown-ups and just have fun a little bit. I want to have time for my husband, you know, for us to build our relationship and all. That is the having life I mean. So, yeah. How I was able to go uh, go around that is, I I created um, a schedule for myself. Now that I'm doing this video, it's um it's basically in the morning here. The kids have gone to school, and I've had my bath. I have done my 30 minutes workout because I wanted to be doing 30 minute workout like four times every day. This time I'm doing like um, every day, like I'm doing from Monday to Saturday work out every Monday to Saturday, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. Most times I do one hour in the evening because by that time I have time to do something. So yeah, I've already done that. And I've already taken um, the tea I wanted to take and I've already sent out all the things I need to send out. What I mean is I have, I run my business both online and offline. So I schedule the things I post. I have a YouTube channel, as you see, I have um, my LinkedIn, um, Page, I have my Instagram page, I have my Facebook page, and I want to be active on all of them. So what I do is I schedule. So in summary, what I mean is how what helps me is scheduling. I schedule. My children go to school, even my small one go to school. I'm going to share tips on how to find a good pre um, daycare or pre nursery or early childhood education for your child from preschool to KG. How to find them because yeah, you need to. For you to be able to have your time, you need to those kids need to go to school quite early, not early as three months or depending on kind of work though, my kids start school at six months. So yeah, and they've gone to school, but my three years old is in school, all of them are in school, and I have time for myself. And I schedule, I plan. The clothes for church is already out and so on Sunday. The night their night gowns are already be packed. I will bring them out, tie them together and keep them. The clothes they will wear after school is the ninth gown. Do you understand? They're night wears. And then I've already planned for food. I have a timetable that this is what they're going to eat. This is what I'm going to eat. It's already made and then stored. The ones I can't store, I already know what they're going to eat. So it does not a problem. So the things are available. They just need to come. Either we warm up and eat or we just make it something simple to make. Now, the other one is sleep training my children. I started learning that one. It's working like magic. You know, I, I had I traveled some time and I it, where where I went to these kids were sleep trained like by eight o'clock they are already in their bed. It was not hassle anymore. And the mother told me how she started sleep training them. I went and read up on sleep training. It might not all go well with everybody, but that's what I'm doing because I need to have my own life. So by eight thirty in my house, these kids know they are going to do, they are going to do prayers. So we do twenty minutes prayer, thirty minutes prayers, and then they go to bed. So when they go to bed. That's when I start planning, scheduling everything I want to do. The ones they're going to do tomorrow, I plan it. So when they come back from school, finish eating and everything, I have time for myself. I have time to write out the videos I need to do. I have time to do my videos in the night or early in the morning when I've gone to school. I have time to schedule all the posts you're going to see on my channel, on my uh, pages. So yes, that's how I handle that. You know, scheduling, planning, bringing out things and sleep training. That is how I'm able to have a life if with having um, my kids and everything. Now, the second one is how do you run a business with being a mother and a wife? Well, I'm not in your kids. Okay. How I run a business? My uh, in, um, social media and um, yeah, social media has made running businesses very easy. 
social media, the internet. It has made it run, running business very easy. How I run my business is I run a boutique. I, I own a boutique. So, yeah, I order things from UK, US, Turkey. So, what I do is I get the pictures of all the things I have ordered, things that are available in my shop. Sometimes I take real life pictures. Like, I go to my shop, put it on the mannequin, and I take pictures. Or sometimes I just got, get pictures from online, from their website, or from their models. Like, Turkey have their own models. So I get those pictures. I know pictures I'm going to post. All my, how I say, okay, I've opened my shop is I have posted all my pictures. I have my girl who goes to the shop. Like I have a girl in the shop because it's actually a big shop. So the girl opens the shop. So I don't just relax. My girl has opened the shop. I know I'll get to my shop by 10 o'clock or 9.30 because of the things, how my schedule works. So what I do is I post everything. Most of the things that are available, I'll tell you, these ones are available. These ones are on order. I will post on my um, Instagram story. I post on my Facebook story. I'll post on my WhatsApp, my two WhatsApp um, um, status. And that's it. For me, I've opened my shop and I know people, I, I have my customers who see them. And all my new arrivals, my old arrivals, when I'm having sales, I post early in the morning. I already know the ones I'm going to post and I'll post them. Now, when I'm done with what I'm doing in the morning, I go straight to my shop. In my shop is where you will see me. Um, in my shop is when I log in to go to school to check my assignment, the things I need to do. Because I'm running, I've have like, I've done like, I have, I've done like um, um, some courses online. I've done um, clinical psychology online. I've done diction and elocution online. I've done etiquette uh, and etiquette coaching online. So I go online. Is when I'm in my shop. That's when I go online. Like, and when I get there, I'm in the shop, I'm physically in the shop, I've already posted on my pages, and I now go online. Waiting till it is time for school run. When it's time for school run, my kids close by four. It's time for school run, I go pick them up, and I'm home. My girl closes the shop for me. When she's not available, I close the shop by four. Because actually, I've already done my marketing online. Do you get it? Good. That's how I have, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going crazy. Now, the next one is, how are you a student? I've told you, like, I do all my homeworks in the midnight. For a mother, there's something my mom said a long time ago, and I didn't understand what she was saying until I became a mother. See, a mother does not have a night. You make sure if, okay, let me, let me give, tell you something. On my Mondays, because I don't work at um, a 9 to 5 or 9 to 8 to 6, 8 to 5 job, on Mondays, I stay back home. I make sure I get enough sleep. I can just doze off in, in my shop close the door i can just doze off in the house like one hour when they have gone to school i'll go back to bed and sleep like one hour so i put all those hours together i make sure i have enough time like i've slept enough and then in the night i try doing the things i need to do early so i can still go back to bed if i get six hours of sleep seven hours of sleep it's beautiful i've done a good job so what i'm saying in essence is how i go to my school is is in the midnight like this called if some of them like when i was doing my education education it was only 7 30 7 to 7 30 or 7 30 or 6 30 to 8 i be so by that time my kids um they've already eaten yeah they've, they've, they've already had their dinner and i log on for school that was the location so i do my homeworks in the midnight that's when i do my homeworks or when i'm in the shop when i'm done with posting i don't have a class i'll do my run my homeworks there or the ones remaining i do it in the night i read it's a sacrifice but you will do it. I read and I sleep off. In the morning, I wake up. I still work with my schedule. Planning helps me a lot. Planning. Planning. Sleep training the children. Planning everything from your food. I will show you. The, like I, this, I, I'm going to show a picture of my food plan. Like food prep. I prep some of the foods and I keep them. I put in different takeaway plates. You don't need to go and start buying. If you have the money, if you have the funds, you can buy all those fanciful plates or disposable plates but i have takeaway plates that i always get so i pack some of my food the amount i can eat i cook them and i pack them that's the picture of there that's the video of there of my my prep food prep for the week i prep my food i know what the kids are going to have a timetable so i don't go and start disturbing my brain on what it is so it helps me when i know i have a schedule i work with the time and it helps me a lot now the last one is not the last one though my online teaching now i take my online teaching um there's this app i shared it i'll share i'll share the name on it's called super prof i'll share the link and the name 
on the description box so i am a teacher on super prof so what i do is i take students i give them my time and my time is always 12 to 2 a 2 p.m or 11 to um 11 to my okay, my english class is 11 to 12 30 p.m so or in the midnight so i schedule time that i know i'm going to be free and i don't take more students than i can be able to handle do you understand and it, it works for me my writing i have a, a website i started writing for i write in the midnight too i am i don't know how to say it. i have to do it it's something i love doing and i want to have a life it's one of my dreams do you understand so i have to fix the time for it so i give myself one hour to two hours in the night midnight is not midnight these kids sleep by nine nine o'clock i they go to bed by eight forty nine. So from then I have a free time. From then I have because I've already packed, scheduled, and planned a lot of things. So I have a free time. Imagine from 9:30 to 11, 11, I'm sleeping. 11:30, I'm already pressing my phone. I'm already done with what I want to do, and I can sleep up at any time. So that's how I schedule my teachings at my free time. So you find out the time that you're free, and then you will schedule your teachings. Do you, do you understand that one? Now I say YouTuber. Now let me give you this one. Now this gist is this video i'm going to do another video and another video like i do my videos most times by the weekends i i research for contents that are going to be helpful to people a lot of content that are going to be helpful to people and i write them down like i'm always using my phone i'm not a good writer i like i don't love with the pen so i research all the topics and then when i research them i write out all the points i need to them put this in my phone now in the by weekends friday saturday sundays are beautiful for me i will do like two three videos you will see me change my hair change my clothes and then i will run like two three videos for my youtube and i keep them so i have videos stocked you get it so i have like two three videos stocked up so every time i say i'm going to post a video i post a video i made a video there's a video I, I posted the last time and i found out that what all the things i listed there is no longer viable i had to bring down that video because i don't have time to come and say explain to somebody and i don't want someone to go and put, go get into any form of trouble and they'll come and call my name i have to bring down that video so because i already have a video i just gave myself a little time and i posted it so that it will work with the schedule i have for that video so i have a video to post do you understand so yeah that's how it works for me i have videos so most times i'll choose okay i have this video i love i just did this one now and i love it so let me post it that's what's up with this one do you understand so i have other videos lined up like two three videos i've already done that i will post after this so when you are you want to be a youtuber it's possible it's possible what do you need you need your ring light I have a ring light on i have my tripod on i have my mic lapel mic on basically that's it use your android phone. i'm using my android phone for now to look for a very good place research for contents that are going to help people and now research for it write it down and start do you understand one of your videos two three videos by the weekend so you have video for every week then before that video goes up you do another video so you're already running a youtube page as a mother you get it now so i hope that this i don't know i wanted this video to short this will be very very short but i want to get a lot of things so let me list out again the things i said the way it works for me planning i plan everything i plan from food to clothes to um uh my people i'm going to visit i don't really visit people how i'm going to go to my shop i schedule post i put up on my um, facebook pages social media pages yes we need it i'm going to talk about rebranding as a mother but that's another you need to rebrand yourself the you that people see is the you that you put up on social media most time that's that's the you that people get to see first so you need to rebrand yourself that person you want to be rebrand yourself like that and put it up have a, a social media pages where people can relate to you from yes so it's Finance, it's, a, it's also a financial advice this so you can actually make money from what I'm saying so yes I schedule my post I have posts for the whole week scheduled on a Saturday or on a Sunday I have um, that scheduling that's the one was sleep training my children is very important sleep training these children it makes you it helps you like it gives you extra time extra time it gives you a lot of extra time for your own me time 
write out your dreams like write it out and be exact know what you really want and start give, going to them know that you're going to give your nights i i plan in the night i work with my nights as a mother as a mother that wants to achieve some things you work with your ninth your ninth ninth is a very good time to work with or you find any other time that you know you're free to work with it now you need help see there is nobody that was giving any badge of honor because I was the, I was a mom I was I'm a mom of five and I did my work myself. No, I have a help. I have a nanny who comes in to clean up for my house. I have a living help. Yes, that's why it's there for me. If you cannot afford a, a, a nanny, go and look for help. If you cannot afford a living help, look for a nanny. If you don't want a nanny, look for a living help. But you must get a help. You need a help. You need a help to be able to not get your head see you might think that you're, you're doing it but you're putting your mental space at risk when it will hit you you will be wondering how, how come it just came now it's something that's been accumulating so you need a help if you need to live have a life run a business run your dream do something become somebody your children are not going to ask you um that the reason you're they're not going to be interested in like the reason why um, they are hearing about other people's mom they're not hearing about you the reason why you deny them a lot of things because you are taking care of them that is not a viable excuse so get a help it's better that you have a help that you delegate things to have some people you delegate stuff to do you understand so that you can you will not break down if you break down what's what's the what's the or like I say, what's the profit or the advantage of you doing the job all by yourself when you break down? So yes, what's what what's it for? What's the need for you? The kids that you're toiling for will still not appreciate it that you broke down. Do you get it? So schedule, plan, sleep, train the children, your children, and do you understand it? Be there for them, yeah, but sleep, train them, and delegate. Do you understand? Delegate people map out your plans i want to be a youtuber i want to be an online teacher i want to run a business i want to run only online business i wrote that i have a, 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 a um a video where i made businesses you can run from home i will leave the link on the description box you can go and check it out again i have another video where i made business online businesses and jobs that a stay home, a stay at home mom can do and I, I left the link there too so even at that you can get those jobs i want to have online jobs i want to be full, yes even as a full-time man you can have time for yourself to you understand so i hope this my video helps somebody and if it does please share click on the subscribe button it's going to help me a lot it's going to give me a lot of platforms like to so reach reach out to a lot of moms i'm all about moms women motherhood child care and it, pregnancy labor and a lot of other things so please click that subscribe button help me share put on your notification so you are notified when i drop in another very in interesting video see you next time on hadasa uche's page thank you for hanging in there for me see you bye bye